Hi everyone, this is Lindsay at Spa Pose and Seamus. So a lot of you have asked me um, about brushing your dogs and a lot of you are brushing your dogs on a regular basis which is great but when they come in I'm still finding tats underneath and the dogs are having to get cut shorter. Um, so I'll have shown you a lot of you when you've been in here how to brush them. I thought it might be interesting and a value to a lot of you to actually see how it's done. So, Seamus has volunteered, haven't you? Look, is this Seamus? <laughs> He's our victim, I mean volunteer. So as you can see, Seamus is well overdue a, a trim. I say to many of you that, that my dogs are last in the queue. So we're going to go through um, how to brush them, very simple, very quick, very easy and uh, hopefully it will give you a helping hand. So you pull the hair up and you brush down like that. So you can see as I'm following my hand up here, you'll be able to see any tats or knots that are appearing here and you're pulling them down. So what I know a lot of you what you do is brushing over the top like that and it feels all nice and tat free yes, it does. and then what happens is I go in and I start brushing like that and there's lots of tiny little tats up here Seamus has lovely fur so I'm really lucky that I don't have to brush him every single day um, but this type of coat is so easy to tat up and then once you've got a tat unless you get it straight out it mats gets wet this weather as you all know, the snowballs, etc, etc. So, that is literally all you do. All the way through. And then you can do this as you go, or you can wait till the end and go through it all again. Take your grey hand comb, and you get right down to the skin. And because this is quite a nice round end here, it doesn't do anything to the skin, it doesn't harm it. What you do have to be careful of with this kind of brush, as you can see, it's, you know, the, the little pins, little steel pins, that could be quite hard on your skin. If you go like that yourself, you'll, you'll understand. So what you're not doing is putting loads of pressure on and dragging it through. It's just nice little light strokes that you do and not pushing right down to the skin. But as you're going up here, you can see where you are. You can see the line of the skin so you know that you're not digging right down to it. You're just skimming over the top of it and pulling the hair down. Nice and easy to do that all over the dog. Obviously I'm doing it on the table here. When you're doing when we do it in the house, um, Seamus ends up lying on his back, he falls asleep. But you literally do it all over. The ears, the head, same thing. Say cheese. Say cheese. Hey. <laughs> Start and beckons. Seamus has already been on the television once. He's used to all this. So all over, especially round the neck, down the chest area, always gets really tatty down here and under here where the collar goes, so it gets damp when you're out on your walks. Collar stays there, it rubs, it creates the friction, it creates the knots. And then you're left with mats that we can't do anything about other than shave out. So all you do, all the way over, head, and this is the favourite of them all. Pause. Shims is such a good boy, aren't you? Yes, you are. What a lot of dogs don't mind, they hate going straight down like that. Try going across. That's how I worked it out with Seamus. He's, he's much better with it now. Or up. It's the whole down movement quite often that they don't like. So a lot of your dogs, I know, do struggle with the pause. So just do little, little movements like that. And little and often. But you must get all the way around underneath, all the little scraggy bits under there. <laughs> um, round the face, under the ears is another one because they get really thick hair under there. So make sure, turn it round, lift up, lift up and brush down. And then you get greyhound comb and you know you're getting all the way down to the bottom. Then we've got tail. Loads of dogs don't like the tail touched at all. 
So Seamus does get a really tidy tail because he's got a big fluffy tail. So start at the ends and work up a bit like if you were brushing your own hair. Gents with short hair might not understand that as much. Um, or ladies for that matter. So just brush the ends and then work up. If you do find a tat, let's see Shirley if you've got any tats in your tail. Have a look. No. Say if you did find a tat, hold behind it. Try and isolate it as much as possible. Get your, your little slicker brush and just really light strokes like that. And what happens is you get all the dead hair out of it with this. But that's basically it. So if you get any tats anywhere on the body, try and get your, your thumb and your forefinger between the body and the tat. And then you're not pulling on it. And lots of light little strokes like that to work it out. And that is pretty much it. All the way over. All the legs, body, all the stinky bits even. And then around the face. And I know a lot of these dogs do end up with a lot of tats in the little muzzly area here. Again, if you can't get the, the slicker brush there, you can tend to get it over the top. But you, you're much easier getting the, the greyhound comb through because you can get right in there like that. So this is Seamus after his bath. Looks like a little drowned rat. Um, but because we brushed him before the bath, it'll make it so much easier to dry him. It got any tats out that we did find. So again, we'll not have to try and blast through them to get them dry, um, which is way more comfortable for the dog. So we'll see what he looks like after we've finished drying him. This is Seamus, all done. All nicely fluffed and dried. Still needs a damn good haircut, but I can now get my comb, the tight end, and go all over, shamey. Now when you do this, you can find out if there are any little knots, little tats starting to form again. You can isolate them and just get them out. Just want to say thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions at all that you'd like me to answer about any specific breed of dogs or you want me to go over any little bits at all, um, more specifically, feel free to send me any questions and I shall get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, off to give Shayla's the promised chicken nap. Are you going to get some cuddles from Grandma? From Grandma? Alright then, come on good boy. Say bye bye. Say bye bye to everyone. <laughs> Want some biscuits? Bye! Bye! Thanks for watching!